एवरीवन वेलकम टू द चैनल नॉलेज स्टार कॉन्टिन्यूस नॉलेज एक्सीलेंस माय नेम इज निशा मसरूर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल गेट टू नो अबाउट व्हाट इज जियोलाइट एंड टाइप्स ऑफ जियोलाइट नाउ आर एक्सपर्ट प्रोफेसर मोहिदार हु इज एसोसिएटेड विद नेशनल सेंटर एक्सीलेंस इन एग्रो नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी टेरी डाइकन नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी सेंटर इंडिया ही हैज 31 इयर्स ऑफ एकेडमिक एक्सपीरियंस इन टीचिंग एंड रिसर्च His area of expertise includes nano science and nano technology, nano bio interface science, soft matter science, polymer physics and biophysics. We'll explain you in detail about this topic. So, to get complete information, watch full video without skip. Come to a second material which is nano zeolite. Okay, at the end we'll tie them together. Nano cellulose and nano zeolite you tie them together. now for nano zeolite the nano zeolite uh, or for its for the sake of an example zeolite is actually a natural rock formed in volcanoes in volcanic eruptions a lot of zeolite is emitted so wherever you see volcanic rocks there will be good amount of zeolite present in there it's basically crystalline structure of aluminum silicate aluminum and silicon oxides okay they have they are arranged in certain structured manner and you can see the microscopic picture of this in the slide here and if further zoom into it then you will see this porous structure of these rocks here now depending on the silicon to aluminum ratio and the temperature conditions pressure conditions under which these have got formed the pore side actually changes so the porosity of the material is a function of its synthesis because these are naturally synthesized synthesized materials we have not much control over their pore size and their motility and other properties therefore it is necessary to synthesize it ourselves so that you can control its pore size and we can optimize it or tailor it to our requirement okay the other advantage of this is this is a polar material with lot of surface area both internal and outer or external surface now because of this polarity surface polarity anions and cations can get trapped on that through electrostatic interaction bind to them now because of the availability of the nano sized pores many of these small ions bacteria virus etc they just cannot pass through it they get blocked so you have a physical blocking of the thing you can got adsorption in there and you can also see further that it also works as a catalyst for reduction of organic chemicals because the huge surface area that is available that provides it a excellent uh, excellent surface for nano catalysis so it's got huge amount of applications and that's the reason zeolite is one of the preferred materials for effluent treatment there are in fact model pilot plants that exist that use zeolite in very in large uh, amount wait 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 are you worry about your project training dissertation internship don't think too much because nano science and technology consortium in short nstc is giving you a golden opportunity to do the same tasks NSTC also conducts workshop on amazing topics. So if you want to register in the workshop, the registration link is given in the description box below or you may go to the website www.nanoschool.in where you can easily enroll in the workshops. So just check it out right now. Now this is different types of zeolites. These are not made in the lab, but many of these are actually natural zeolites. So there we do have much control over the structural properties but they have also been used with certain amount of efficiency and there be it has been found that it's possible to remove phosphate by zeolite through adsorption process okay now the granular zeolite that we have made ourselves here the absorption is happening only at room temperature we are not taking it to any higher temperature or so 
and within a contact time of something like 20 minutes and the concentration of the phosphate ion is something like 20 mg per liter. It's a very basic uh, acidic solution. In the very acidic solution condition, the sorption capacity is quite reasonable, 3.3 milligram per gram. It's an extremely adverse condition. We are talking about a very strong acidic effluent. If you are dealing with a basic or uh, slightly by effluent is slightly higher pH, the situation will be completely different. So these are all very, uh, these have to be optimized very uh, carefully for a specific type of effluent that the industry is actually uh, producing. I hope you liked the video. Here, I would like to give you an important information that Nano Science and Technology Consortium organized the nanotechnology workshops on very interesting topics. Also, I would like to tell you about the initiatives of NSDC in which you can also be a part of. Joint product development, research projects, consultancy services, nanomaterials for your research projects, training programs or customized training programs, workshops or customized workshops. So that's all. If you want to see these type of videos, then please do comment. We will definitely reach out to you. Subscribe to the channel Knowledge Star and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you. For more updates, subscribe to our channel, click the links shown on the screen to stay connected.